Brain Media, visit my website for unique content that isn't available on Twitch or YouTube. And um, today, we are going to continue playing Mudrunner. Uh, as the title states, this is Mudrunner Noob Tips, White Knuckle. We're testing Samurais, and this is the part four. Um, <clears throat> uh, we've been running the White Knuckle Trails map, and also running Suzuki Samurais. Um, honestly, as an elimination process. Um, yesterday we tested four trucks, and I think I deleted three out of four. Uh, yeah, I kept one blue Samurai. So today we tested four more trucks on the short and sweet trail at white knuckle trails is the map the trail we're on is called sweet uh short and sweet um all right so the game is not um showing up yikes let me just get to the game window uh it looks like we're still got an active game happening let me double check alt tab oh boy okay and you know i don't know why the chat widget is not working in game but, but if you're here and you say something i can't see it in chat so sorry at least not in the game so all right <clears throat> well if you saw part three then you know that these three trucks I have already run on a multitude of maps, and they are three of my favorites. That black and orange one is more or less a Swiss Army knife. It goes anywhere and does anything. Um, however, this little tiny maroon one with the low center of gravity um, is, is one hell of a truck. It's narrow wheelbase, goes through some tight ravines, uh, but it's short wheelbase will we'll, can flip you over. But having a low center of gravity that's less likely to happen with this little guy so it's, it's really a great truck now the other one the, the red one on the far side um also comes in white and that will go damn near anywhere also however if you look at the black truck you can see there is zero approach angle because that axle is out in front of the uh, the grill the winch the bumper the stinger everything the tires are out front and it will climb up a sheer rock wall five foot tall you know and then boink your front axle goes over the top of the lip and it just hauls the rest of the truck right up the hill this little red one the bumper does stick out at about an equal face uh, vertically of the tires anyway we came on this trail from the opposite direction in part three and uh, we decided that this white truck is junk and i'm going to delete it it's really not junk, it's just really hard to drive, has really funky traction, and basically I'm done with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into that truck. Not that. Start the engine, come on. Why can't this truck get moving? Advanced? There we go. Alright, so I'm going to leave this on the side of the road. Anybody who wants it can come pick it up. Hit advanced. Stop engine. Okay. Change truck. And we're going to go right back in the order that we took them. So this guy. Hmm. Boy. Pretty tricky entry to the trail. Probably easiest to go right here. And then into the gap and up the, up this end and get through this little pit with the uh, the frustrating rock coming from this direction is not so bad but man trying to get out of that that pit with that rock is such a pain in the butt I'm telling you what all right, so now here I am, <clears throat> where my front end is augered into the ground. Ah, cool. Turning my front wheels got me a little different uh, angle for traction ability. So, short, short wheelbase. Pretty tough to get hooked up. Yikes. Yikes. I'm afraid I'm going to roll it. 
Oh, God. So frustrating. All right, well, then I'm just going to see if I can force my way to turn around in this little spot with this little vehicle. Yes! Okay, down into the water. Nice, slow, creepy crawl. I should do gear down, but it's a pain in the ass to shift gears with a keyboard and mouse, dude. If you have a steering wheel, gas pedals, and a shifter, a thousand times better. And not just, uh, you know, paddle shifters. You get the stick. Because you're going to be putting it in reverse a lot. I don't know, I just prefer stick shifter for this game. Paddle shifters in uh, Formula One, sure. Uh, but, alright, cool. Down. Whoop. Let that rear end drop. And now see if we are tall enough to climb out of here. Didn't think so. Oh, there it is. Woo, we made it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I always get confused at this point. Because <clears throat> I see that water and it looks like, oh, it's an easy grass trail over there. Well, if you're struggling like crazy, that's your that's your safe exit. So, that's not the way we came. It's not the way we're going. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, right over this hill, Yeah, I think is another water pit. Oh, no, apparently not. Yikes. Let's stay more to the right here. Then go left. Get that tire hooked on the lip. Wow, it looks totally different in reverse, doesn't it? It's kind of like, I just came through here four times with four different trucks. But this isn't the little um, brown strip with the two grass sides, honestly. This is such a different looking section from this direction. Man, it's a bitch to get through, too. Just a little less turn. Okay, so, see, see what I mean by the grip of these tires compared to that white truck that we were, it was just spinning, spinning, spinning. But this thing, like, just finds a way to hook up. And it's got a lot stiffer suspension. Um, it's not as tall and not as springy, boingy, boingy, softly sprung. Wow, we're already at the, uh, the paint scrubber ravine. So yeah, that, that trail is definitely short and sweet. It can be difficult, like you saw when I took that white uh, rainforest samurai through there. Oh boy. I might want to gear down. Just keep it pinned. Got some soft rubber tires, apparently. They're not spinning and smoking. Woohoo! Got out of that one piece of cake to get down here. The easy exit is to angle off to the edge here. And voila. Okay, I'm going to park it here this time. Hit advanced. Stop the engine. Get it out of advance. Press F1. Go to the map. Grab the Rock Runner. Ta-da! Oh, the Breggles is going to be fun doing this again in the opposite direction because it's a lot harder in this direction, I think, than the other. Although it seems like I got through that lickety split um, with that red truck. But, but, you know... It's got a whole different configuration than this guy. Oh, man. See what I mean? This thing just eats trails for lunch. 
it's not a super truck. It, it definitely still provides a, a, a degree of driver skill, but man, having the zero approach angle, having really good grippy tires, a uh, nice articulation, properly sprung, not a lot of rebound, not super soft. All right, so this is a tricky one, Mr. Grinch. Boom! Wow. Yeah, I'm really curious. Oh, 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 no! Oh, God, this is, this is, oh, I know this spot now. In from coming in reverse, yeah, that's, uh, huh. yeah, let's turn around and look at that. See, remember that going up? Yeah. Totally different experience going the opposite direction. All right, so. I am thinking with this guy, I think he's a little heavier than the other. Oh, I was going to have to gear down, but maybe not. Let me roll back. Yeah, I got to get my rear rear end away from that ridge on the left. All right. I'm going to too low. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow, the Red Samurai's truck, or tires, seem to have a lot more grip. Or this thing's just got a lot more power, so it's spinning the hell out of the tires. I don't know. I never played with the vehicle editor, and I only watched like one video about it. But let's try it in uh, total granny gear. See, it's that little ridge at that, uh, the left rear tire. If I could get just above that edge, then I'd have something to push against, and I think we'd get up there pretty quick and easy. See, it's hitting that uh, that obstacle at the left rear tire, just not letting me get up it. Well, I might have to run over to that tree, bounce off the damn tree. Oh, did I start humping forward? Rub me up against that tree. Maybe that'll force my rear end to come around. Come on. It's just like one little thing that I can't get a hook on. Okay, I wish I wish that you could I wish there was a hotkey to make the user interface go away. And also, damn, overhanging trees. Yeah, not quite exactly how I wanted to use the tree, but... Uh, kind of wanted to push off that tree so that my rear end would kick over. I'm really surprised I'm having this much trouble with this obstacle. Okay. Enough of that crap. Throw it in uh, automatic. Back up. And assault the hill. Yeah, 
hand, same shit, different, uh, different moment. Uh-oh. Well, what have we got here? It looks like a failure to drive. Not a failure to communicate, but, uh, bam. Okay, get up, try it again. If at first you don't succeed, change gears, throw a winch, do something. Come on, disconnect the fucking winch. Okay, well... Uh, maybe I should charge the uh, left side of the hill. I can take a different angle here. Let's see if I can get tighter on the camera. Bam. Oh, so close. There it is. Oh, I thought I saw that rear tire get up on that ridge. Thought it was going to get us out. Dan, same trick I, I pulled last time. Okay. Wow. I can't believe this truck is struggling this badly. Well, the, the trucker is at me. Right row. Nope. Wrong attachment point. Okay. Got it. Like I said, I really wish we had, uh, you know, port and starboard and uh, fore and aft, uh, different colored lights. I don't care if it looked like a Christmas tree. Shit, put a purple one on the front for all I care. Um, okay. High point on the roll cage to that tree. Should easily get us on our feet. Okay. Disconnection. Now, I could totally go around it. But I don't want to do that. What if I go hard left from here? Or hard, yeah, hard left from here. Oh, the rear tire got up over that ridge. Oh, and I keep doing this same freaking maneuver. What the flying freak, dude? I can't believe I can't get out of this fucking thing, and I took so many other vehicles through it, like, without an issue. Very interesting. But stupid. Okay, yeah, just keep pulling me this way until, uh... Until I get in a position where I can pull myself over here easily. High point. Okay, so I was going to try to come down this thing from, uh, ah, from whence I came, but I don't know that that's really the way to do it, so let me get closer. Let me actually, oh wow, my full, whole windshield is trashed. Look at that, the windshield's busted. Oh, this thing's got a great damage model. Holy cow, I've torn this rig up. Alright, so, there it is. Oh, I got a tire hooked around a tree trunk. Get me the hell out of here, would ya? Oh! Can you believe this crap? 
Come on, get just right over that little piece. Ah, oh, three low. <laughs> ah, the magic number. Two low wasn't wasn't enough, but three low just walked over. That's bizarre. So I'm gonna leave it in three low. Seems to be the magic number here. And pretty soon we're we gonna be in the paint scrubbing uh, sander a ravine. Wow. So clearly, you know, if you don't have patience or you're not interested in that kind of a challenge, then you just go ahead and throw the winch and drag your ass up and you're done and you're gone and you're carrying on to the next trail. But I thought it was fun to explore the different capabilities of the truck, the different gearing, tire traction ability, uh, different widths of axles for this particular trail, um, wheelbases, approach angles. Is, is that the right term, the approach angle? Um, oh! Entry angle? Approach angle? I can't remember. Alright, see, so <laughs> with this, my rear, my rear tires, I think, are bound. Because, yeah, one of them is under... It's just wedged in there, man. Can't get the fuck out of here. Okay, but that's in three low, so let's try two low. Oh, it looks like that's able to turn the rear axle a little more. But I'm not getting it. Okay, I'm going to go to one low. Let's see if I can creepy crawl out of here. Almost. Oh, that rear axle is just not coming, or that rear, that rear tire is wedged so deep in against that freaking rock wall. I'm getting like side traction, but no forward motion traction. Okay, only one choice now. I'm gonna grab reverse. Come on. And head up another way. Rear axle's free. All right, and here we are. Holy cow! I don't know if the Brexel's gonna get it, get it going this opposite direction, man. That's a trip. Okay, so we're lining up for a short and sweet screenshot when we get the. Uh, Little Brexel back over here. Hit advanced. Stop engine. Kill advanced. F1. Jump in the J80. LJ80. And here we go. Like I said, this little tiny wheelbase. Hard telling what it's going to do. It's got some great gearing. And a low center of gravity. But high ground clearance for such a low center of gravity. Okay. Doing fine so far. Remember that children's book, The Little Engine That Could? That's what this truck reminds me of. The Little Suzuki That Could. Until you wedge, you know, your front bumper directly against a rock and you're just screwed. <laughs> okay, maybe we can get a little action going this way. Holy cow. Really surprised how this is going. But, yeah, maybe not so much. Uh, I have run this thing. It just, it impressed the hell out of me, man. I've run this thing on a, another trail. I can't. Uh, I think it was Pogues Creek, maybe. Now, see. Ooh, look at this. With this little tiny vehicle, I could almost circumvent this obstacle by going over here. 
but yeah, that's actually way too narrow, and I would end up, uh, well, you know what, I would end up upside down in the water. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? So, this thing's got some fantastic tires, gearing, power delivery, low center of gravity. I don't know what the magic formula is in the truck craving tool, but this thing is pretty impressive. Oh, and here we are already. Now, look at that big freaking rock runner, or whatever it's called, just died on this hill. And this thing, yeah, I was going to say, it's just going to walk right over it. Now, of course, I'd never tried three low, and as soon as I did, that, that rock runner, or whatever the hell that thing's called, just flew through it, so. Driver error. Call it whatever you want. Oh boy, now what are we looking at? That is not the path, and I believe, I believe we need to go to the right here, correct? Oh no. We need to go to the left. Okay, see that bumper is a uh, Scraping the rock as we try to get up here. Oh boy. Alrighty. Are we already at the paint scrubber? Yes, we are. Very close, very close. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really? Whew! Now, this thing kind of got wedged in the paint scrubber. Uh, come in the opposite direction. It's pretty easy for it to get bound up. just gets jacked up on the uh, on the, the side wall and then you finally tip over woohoo tip over the lip not tip over the truck and then you're out but getting out of here it's pretty easy to go head over heels so I'm gonna go over here to this left side and drop down ta-da back up get in line for the beauty pick and let me see advanced stop engine change truck jump in the rock runner then spin my camera around and we have a beautiful screenshot with the three Suzuki Samurais ta-da alright well that's it for today um, I'm going to uh, go ahead hit V Nope, I'm sorry, hit F1. You can see the Samurai Red is uh, here, the LJ80, and the Suzuki White we didn't bring with us, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight that one. So when I go to the map, you can see that it's the Rock Runner Samurai, Samurai Red. There's also a white version, but in game, it's called the Lifted Suzuki Samurai, or in the selection menu. It's really discombobulated the way they hook things up um, for that, but... Once again, this was White Knuckle Trails. Um, I'm just going to keep rolling this map. There are so many um, trails, and it's rock crawling, which I prefer to just, you know, dirt roads and mud bogging. But some of the dirt roads are awesome when there's a high elevation. Not many of these maps give you a really, really high elevation to, like, do mountain switchbacks and climbing um, or descents, um, both of which are super fun. Um, but there's only a couple of maps that do that. I'll have to try to remember um, which ones those are. Maybe we'll focus on a high elevation or maps with a high elevation where we climb a mountain, go over that wooden bridge next to the waterfall. I'm going to have to remember the name of that one. But uh, hope you had fun. Hope you grab some of these uh, samurais. Oh, man, not this one. I mean, it's fun. It looks cool as hell. Uh, but hard compound tires just spin and spin and spin in the rocks. 
Uh, you might have good luck with it in the mud or, you know, mountain climbing. I don't know. It's, it seems like it's geared pretty low, but um, tires were just not hooking up on on the, on the rocks here at this location. So I just can't get enough of these screenshots, dude. Short and sweet. Oh, look, there's the broken Suzuki off in the distance, the broken white one. So, all right. Well, this is Game Brain. Hit my website for unique content that doesn't appear on Twitch or YouTube um, in time. I mean, it's a work in progress. I try to get myself to be motivated to put things there. But it helps a lot if you, you know, make a comment on my YouTube, make a comment on my website under different articles. Uh, the comments are turned on, and that's encouraging and motivating. So hope to see you there, and catch you later.